My name is Lindsay Doe. I'm a clinical sexologist for this channel called Sexplanations. This is Nicholas Jenkins. He does the camera work, the editing, and the directing. So he makes sure that my message intent becomes the message impact. I think it's correct that it comes to you the way that I want it to be delivered. Yeah, I think that's a good description. We've known each other for two years almost exactly. Mm -hmm. And our... Yeah. Our relationship is going to be changing. Yes. <laughs> Those are the best breakup words ever. <laughs> so about a week ago, a week and a half ago, uh, Nick asked me to come talk to him and I went into the room and sat down and he immediately said... I said I will be leaving Sexplanations in 30 days. So what's happening is there are some opportunities coming up with other projects and I feel like where I am right now my attention is split too hard between my two major projects which is Crash Course and Sexplanations and so um, I said one of those things had to give and they can't pull me off of Crash Course. So that means we had to hire someone to come into this position. Um, and Which we've done. Which we've done. And it will be Matt Gatos, which a lot of you know. He did the, he has his own channel and he does the warehouse videos and he was our green screen suit person <laughs> uh, for sex positions. So uh, we, I thought he was a fantastic choice and he's super excited to <laughs> have this opportunity. Yeah, he is really, really excited. And I think the other thing was is because I was split so heavily, I just didn't feel like I had the creative time to give his explanations what it needs. And I think he does. I think any you know new person in this would. They would, they have a much more open docket. A lot of people say that, that it's like, well, it's it'll be better in the long run. No, I really think it will be better. You'll have somebody with fresh eyes, yeah. with um, fresh ideas and excitement. And um, that's one of the dangers of burnout is you just lose excitement. You lose drive to do things and it just becomes, okay, well, if we're going to do it, we've just got to do it. So let's get the script. Let's do it and blah, blah, blah. And then it just sort of, it, it sort of becomes a, a vicious cycle of just doing the same thing over and over again, which burns you out but because you're burnt out, you're just doing the same thing over and over again. So um, so yeah, I mean, I think that honestly, it's the, the right decision to make. Uh, Hank. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we picked the delivery hour. <laughs> we just had a really loud truck park out there for like 30 minutes, and so we've forgotten where we were. But we got to talk about us. Yes, we did. You. And, and what's coming. Your amazing managerial <laughs> abilities. <laughs> I've had some time to grieve. I imagine you'll grieve because I think that you're an amazing component to the show. Um, I hope the, I was. Yeah, from the beginning, I think we made a conscious decision, at least I did, for you to play an equal part in the content and delivery mm -hmm. and that you were a similar character for the show, that it wasn't just Lindsay, that it was Lindsay and Nick. And so it's going to be weird. It'll be a good weird. Why do you think we have a good working rapport? You know, I haven't necessarily analyzed it, really. But <laughs> I keep looking at you and being like, can you believe this guy? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <gasps> I think it's because you... <laughs> well, I want to say this without being insulting because it's not insulting. It's just the way we work. And I think you enjoy working in chaos a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind that. I'll take that as a compliment. Um, and I am the opposite. That I like order and structure. And I like everything. Abby, lay down. Good girl. Good Stay. girl. And I think I'm the opposite. That I like working in order and structure and everything has to be laid out. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G. We've talked about this in my relationship life as well. But, <laughs> and why that could be problematic. Um, so why do we compliment each other rather than kill each other? Well, first of all, it's a job. It's, it's <laughs> we have to, you know, uh, this is not something that is like a friendship that I'm like, ah, you know, I'm kind of, I'm not, I'm going to stay home tonight. I'm not going to go out and do that because it's a little chaotic. No, it's my job. I, I, I have to do this. You have to do this. 
So we work together, and I think those two things, if we were jerks, it would be hard <laughs> to do that. But we're both pretty nice people, and I think... <laughs> we're both not jerks. <laughs> yeah. So having that, having me have to work in some of the chaos and having you have to pull it back and find order in that chaos, I think then creates this sort of temporal anomaly that we can work in. And I think it brings good things out of you and I think it brings good things out of me and allows me to have a little bit more fun and be a little bit more uh, impulsive with an episode, whereas with you, it makes you think about it going into the episode, like have I covered all my bases? Um, because Nick's gonna ask me questions and he's gonna wonder about certain things, so let's make that work. I think our differences complement one another, that you bring me to a place of more structure and I bring you to a place of, you would call it, call it chaos, but maybe, um, not imagination, you have imagination, but more of playfulness, maybe? That could be it, yeah. And um, I would agree with that. I also think both of us are smart and good intentioned and kind. And so we want to create something for our audience yeah. that is a mixture of our, our good intentions and it comes out really nicely. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. But yeah, it's also that we're not jerks. <laughs> What are you going to miss about Sexplanations? I'm going to miss our talks. Our talks? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> we can still have them. I know, I know. Uh, it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a really important thing to me that I can sit down and chat about the script, about how our perspectives might be different on things. Um, I love that I can bring, like you really hate horror movies. Like they do not sit well with Lindsay. But I can give you information about how this pertains to how our brains process horror. Yeah. And it's fascinating to you. Mm -hmm. And then it makes you think about different things. I love that. I love just being able to chat about things. So we'll shoot for, you know, 20, 30 minutes and then a truck will park out back or something will happen and then we will just sort of talk about something within the script or even outside of the script. And I like, I like those moments because I feel like I'm learning and I'm teaching and we're just having a good time chatting about something. So I'll miss that. Because there is no time for that in everything else I do. We're on such a breakneck pace that, and Hank is so uh, busy now that he really has to come in. We have to shoot Crash Course and he's got to go and he's got to move on to the next thing. We still have a good time. Mm -hmm. It's still a fun experience, but you know, Hank and I used to chat a lot more um, before his life sort of exploded. So, um, so this gives me the opportunity to sit around and, and, and talk about the script and talk about the ideas, talk about future episodes based off of an idea within the script. All of that is, is really important to me. It's so fun. Yeah. I'm gonna miss that. Is well, that I, but I've decided not to miss it because I'm just gonna go and take you lunch and we're gonna hang out. Gonna <laughs> Nick, be my friend still. <laughs> okay. Matthew Gatos is going to replace you in mm -hmm. some ways. Mm -hmm. He can't do everything that you do and he'll bring his own palette, pla what is it, a palette? Yeah, sure. And he'll bring his own palette of skills and abilities. Yep. Um, what are you most excited about in terms of him taking on the position? Energy. Hmm. I think Matt has a lot of really good energy to give to projects. I think he has a very, a great sense of delivering things to people and, and giving information to people, but also, let's try this, let's do this, let's, let's do this, what do you think of this? Um, Whereas once over the last six months for me, it became about let's get the episode done. We gotta get the episode yeah. done because I've gotta cut it and I've only got this much time. So I had some time to grieve and it's really hard because there are things that you bring to this channel that I didn't realize, maybe I took it took for granted until I knew that they were going to go. Like how- Well, I, I asked you to do something. Yes. What did I ask you to do? You asked me to make a want, will, won't list. Yes, I did. For what I want in my next director. Yep. And when I did that, I realized all these things that I have come to appreciate, the things that I didn't even know that I wanted until I had them in you. Hmm. 
Aw. This is where I cried when Nick first told me. I felt that really were... bad when she cried. But it was a it was a happy kind of tear of like, holy crap, you have given me so much. A different way to see myself, a different way to see human sexuality, a different way to interact with my audience. You help me um, articulate messages and you give me a perspective just about life in general that is incredibly valuable. The, this, the truth is I'm not, I'm not dying, I'm not leaving out of anger, I'm not leaving out of any sort of unhappiness. I'm just, I, I made a realization that it's like, I can't do all of this anymore. It's all getting to be too much and, I, I, and it's gonna hurt one or both channels. So I made the decision, um, talked to my bosses about it and they supported the idea. They're like, yeah, you know, you've done what you can for two years on that show. So why don't we phase you out, phase someone else in? And I said, I think that's great. And then we started talking about other projects. So it's not that I'm even leaving, Lindsay and I are still gonna be around each other a lot. If there are any questions, I'm happy to still be asked. So it's not like I'm saying, and, and we're done, don't call me. It's just, it's just a different work experience. Um, and I think the best thing that can happen for the channel, for Lindsay, for everyone is to be encouraging about it mm. and to just be excited about what Matt's gonna bring to it. Cause I am. I am. Yeah. And I mean, we're not completely revamping the show. It's just, you know, the show was here. Now we're gonna try to take it to here. And I could not do that. So it was just, I think now we've got someone who can. Well, when are you leaving? Okay. That's a good question. I will be doing Sexplanations as a director for probably the rest of May. Okay. Uh, but Matt's gonna come on in a couple of weeks and start working with us. So there are no, I'm not just dropping him in and saying, good luck. Um, so he's, he's gonna come in about mid-May and then we're going to uh, phase me out. And then I gotta get him all of the old footage and graphics and everything and yeah. Then, and then that'll be it. And then that'll be it. <laughs> Poof. Poof. Everybody is going to be very happy with this. You're I think you're going to be. I am. I think you're going to be happy with it. I think you guys are going to be happy with it. I think it's just a good thing overall. Okay. How do we say goodbye? I mean, how do we wrap up? I think you can just stay curious. Okay. <laughs>